guys, welcome to my channel. So, <laughs> this is my first time filming in my new house. Eh. Um, so, we recently got a house. Like, we're renting it, we're even buy a house only. Um, but it's like just so much nicer than my last apartment. My last apartment was awful. Um, just so many things about it were awful. Um, and it just got really just exponentially awful because we had a baby. So we went from like a two bedroom. It was like honestly a one bedroom with a door to a living room because the living room was like the sh size of like a tiny closet. Like what they were saying was a living room. Just ridiculous. Um, that apartment sucked on so many levels, but we're now in a three bedroom house. It's so cute. Rue has her own room. Um, I have like a little craft room. Is that's not what this video is about, but I'm just really happy because it's like such an upgrade <laughs> from what we were living in. Um, this video is about the Barbie Dream Besties. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, I have been just freaking out about these dolls because the minute I saw them, I was like, oh my god. They look like the Barbie extra minis, but they're like big and they're fashion dolls. So I was like super excited about them um, and they're just really cute. I was stalking these specifically on walmart.com and it was just really annoying because like they would come in stock and then almost like instantaneously leave like not be in stock and it was before the release date because I think the release date was like July 14th um so I got one of them from walmart.com and then I got the rest from Amazon because they just like came in stock on Amazon. Didn't even address that I have a Barbie shirt on oh my god mine definitely has um like baby food on it which <laughs> goes with the type of barbie i am i am um stressed out first time mom barbie so you know it's fitting so anyway let's look at these dolls all right this one is brooklyn hey girl she's super cute she's one of my favorites um i guess she's like brooklyn or she's barbie and then brooklyn so like i guess she's barbie and brooklyn i don't know um but this is her okay um, and then we have this one, which is Barbie Malibu. I guess they're both Barbie. I don't know. I don't know how like Barbie works in that way. <laughs> like, I'm like, are you Malibu? Are you Barbie? I, I don't know. I'm confused, but um, she looks like Barbie, so yeah, uh, <laughs> this is her. She's also one of my favorites. Um, I don't really like like open mouth dolls. So that's why these two aren't my favorites. Um, I just prefer like the closed mouth uh, sculpt. But this one is Renee. She is probably my least favorite. I don't know why. I think because her head reminds me of like a triangle. Like I like her style. And I love the um, box art. This is, this is so, like who is this artist? <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I think she has like a kind of triangle head. So she's not my favorite, but like she's cute too. You know, she's just like, in all the cuteness, she's the one I find the least cute. Um, and then we have Teresa, who I really like. Um, I like her open mouth sculpt better than her open mouth sculpt, and I think they have different ones, but I'm not really sure. Like, I know this one has dimples, um, but I think they're like subtly different, even though they're both open mouth sculpts. I'm like pooping my pants over these. Also, I think that the two Barbies, Brooklyn and Malibu, are very close sculpts but they're different sculpts so um that's really awesome like i don't know these were 20 dollars i can't remember the last time i bought a doll for 20 dollars i'm so it just feels really good i don't know i feel like those were the prices when like i was not a kid i feel like they were cheaper when i was a kid but maybe back when i was like 20 or like in my teens i feel like dolls were 20 dollars now like every doll that i have or that I'm interested in is like $30. Um, but these were $20 and they come with like a bunch of stuff and they have articulation. Wow, that's so exciting. Yeah, let's open these. I'm very excited. And I'm just so, I'm just so like happy that Barbie is going in an interesting direction. Don't get me wrong, I love traditional Barbie, but I just like things to be a little bit more stylized. Not that traditional Barbie is like realistic, but she's more realistic than like Monster High and stuff. So I think it's just really cool that there's like a stylized um, version of Barbie and I like their sculpts. They do remind me of Ever After High, but um, one, they're like bigger and two, the bodies are like totally different. The bodies are like, if Ever After High, well, their heads are still pretty big, but if the Ever After High heads, those like balloon heads were more 
um, synced up with like the size of the body. Let's look at these, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. This is what their boxes look like. Um, I'm not gonna go over each box individually because they're all very similar. Um, like they have their little picture and then their name and then their stuff that they come with and then the box has art of all of them and a little bio. Um, I like the packaging. I think it's nice. Um, and it's especially nice in context that this is a $20 doll. So yeah, I'm just gonna open all these and show you what they got. So here's Malibu, or Barbie, um, and I just, I just love this doll. She's so pink, like so, so, so pink. I love like the gloves. I love whatever this situation is. Um, they all, do they all have shorts? I feel like they all have shorts. Um, I like her little jean shorts, her shoes. You guys can't see them, but they are little bows. Something that I'm not crazy about is I feel like, I feel like their feet are bigger than Barbie feet, but they're still like super itty bitty. And that's a, a thing that I don't really like about Barbie is that she has like freakishly tiny feet. And these ones are definitely like bigger than Barbie's feet, these feet, but they're still like proportionately kind of tiny. So, um, I don't know, not crazy about that. But I love the design of this doll. Um, she really does remind me of Darling Charming from Ever After High, like a lot. Probably because Darling Charming, ooh, her hair though. Um, probably because Darling Charling is kind of, like her face screening is basically a Barbie doll. Like she's tan, she's got blonde hair. Um, but yeah, these dolls overall in general remind me of Ever After High because they got the big head, which I love because I love Ever After High. I just think she's like stunning. She doesn't have earrings, which is fine. She has these cool, are these like the, I don't know, the 1950s Barbie glasses, because I think they are. Um, she's got this little heart necklace. They're fully jointed. I don't know, as of right now, if they all have the same body, um, which I would kind of be fine with, because I feel like like for $20 you're getting so much, but it'd be cool if they didn't. Her hair, oh, her hair. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, it feels like it's probably pretty soft underneath all of this, like, crimping gel stuff, um, but it just seems a bit scraggly. I don't know what type of hair this is, but um, it seems like it's like rooted pretty okay. Um, it's just, it's just crusty, you know, it's just, it's just a little crusty. Um, she has great head movement. Her head is like really squishy. I don't know if this is like just me, but I feel like a lot of Mattel's new releases have very squishy heads. I have like no commentary of whether that's great or whether that's bad. It's just something that I've noticed. Their heads have been super squishy. This Malibu stuff, she comes with a little pink hair dryer. It says Barbie. We love to see it. Um, she likes like beauty stuff, I guess. So she has a hair dryer. All of her stuff, or most of her stuff is like kind of beauty stuff. Um, this is, I'm, okay, yeah. So this is a compact. Um, it just a little bee on it, and then you can open it, and I guess this is like pink powder, and it comes with a puff. Wait, okay, <laughs> where is it? Oh, here it is, okay. Um, it comes with a little puff, which is kind of squishy. Like, it's not soft, but it's like squishier than the plastic. Um, and you throw it in here, and then you can close it, and I think that's adorable honestly like love me some Barbie makeup or just doll makeup I think that's so cute because love me some makeup she has a Barbie hand mirror with like I guess this is like the mirror part um it's pretty cute you know I like it this I find this very interesting this looks like a phone like an old cell phone and when I saw it in the um Kate, like when I saw it in the box, I was like, why does she have two phones and one of them's old but this is a phone case I think that's adorable honestly like is this like a thing? I want this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is her phone. I think it's so funny that like Mattel gives, I mean, not all dolls cell phones, like iPhones, but I feel like so many of my dolls have iPhones. So you put it in the case. Can I get it in the case? Uh, wait. Probably put it maybe this way. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I can't get in the case. Hold on. I'm honest to God perplexed. Um, I don't know how this is supposed to fit in here because it's just not. Well, see how it pops out at the bottom? And then it pops out at the top? 
I don't know what the vision was for this. Truly confused. Um, but <laughs> again, it's supposed to be a phone case. Um, it just seems a little bit small. Yeah, y'all, I don't know. It's not happening. It's not fitting. Cute idea, though. Um, and then this came, okay, so I think this is so cool. It came like this. Um, this is like a little lipstick, okay? And then it came with this, which is a top for it. Um, <laughs> it's a Barbie, or it has a B on it, wait. Yeah, it has a B on it. I think that is the cutest thing I've ever seen, honestly. Well, it's not the cutest thing I've ever seen, um, but it's very, very adorable. And then this right here is, I guess, her purse, uh, which she can put her little lipstick in, maybe, yeah. And maybe her phone, um, but it can't go in the case, which it doesn't anyway, so that's good. Um, and you close it, and that's um, so stinking cute, you know? Barbie, I want this bag, <laughs> honestly. Um, so that is all of Malibu's stuff. This is Renee. Renee is just, she's a smiley's favorite. Um, even like her face sculpt aside, because again, I'm not crazy about the face sculpt. Um, I don't really like, like her, um, like outfit. Um, it's just, I don't know. I just feel like it's the least exciting. I'm not crazy about the outfit. I don't really like like the open mouth face sculpts, but I do like Teresa, um, the other open mouth face sculpts. I just, I don't know, I feel like her head's like real triangular <laughs> and it bugs me for some reason. Um, the outfit's not really speaking to me. The shoes are just kind of like basic little boots. I'll show you guys the shoes. Just like little boots. Um, the hair is just kind of pigtails. I mean, the hair is okay. It's just kind of pigtails. Um, it, is not really, well, the bangs are definitely crusty, um, but, like, it feels soft, but it's kind of scraggly, like, Barbie's is. There's just, like, hairs falling off, um, and the tinsel is falling off. I'm not really big on whatever this hair is. I don't think this is a nylon, but I also am not good at identifying hair, like I said. She's alright. I kind of like her little hoops. Those are cool. You guys can see. They're kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's Renee. She's okay. Renee's stuff. So apparently Renee is like a food blogger and a travel blogger. So a lot of her stuff is like food related, which we love because we love food here. I ate like an entire tray of brownies today. So Renee really speaks to me. Um, this is like her water cup, I guess, or coffee cup. I don't know. It's this, this thing. It's okay. Um, and then she has a laptop because she's like a blogger, you know? Um, so it says Barbie, of course purple because her color scheme is purple and then you open it and I mean it's a laptop it's a kind of basic laptop but it's a laptop she got a little like food as her wallpaper um, and it closes and then she has pizza is this like I guess this is literally just a slice of pizza I was like is this like an accessory I don't know but no I think it's just a slice of pizza um, this is her bag, which, does it open and close? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so it opens and closes. It is a piece of bread with an egg on it. Um, I don't eat that a lot, but interesting. And it opens and closes, which is cool. We love the little details. Okay, so I'm gonna try this phone with this case. So she has like a popsicle phone case because she likes food. Um, does this one fit? <laughs> oh, okay. So this one fits. That was very easy. I don't know what's going on with <laughs> Malibu's. Um, it was very difficult. It doesn't, I mean, I just can't get it to work. Um, but this one fits, so that's cool. Um, I like it. I like that the phone case is like squishy like an actual phone case. She has cheese chips. Uh, not a fan of cheese chips. Um, I like barbecue chips, but I, again, I have so much doll food that I'm going to, like, commission someone to make a vending machine or something. I love pretzels. <laughs> like, I love, 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 love pretzels. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania. I live in Philly right now, and I love pretzels. So, this is a pretzel. You'll love to see it. Um, I love that they included a pretzel. I love pretzels. She also has a pretzel on her phone. We love pretzels here. Does she have a pretzel on her laptop? Maybe her favorite food is pretzels and like egg with 
bread. Really like her accessories, even though like I <laughs> hate food accessories or snack accessories kind of for dolls, but I really like pretzels, so I dig hers. This is Teresa. Unexpectedly, I like this doll. I thought that I'd be pretty mad about it because she has an open mouth smile. I'm not really big on those, on dolls for whatever reason. Um, Unless it's like rare. Like I feel like if Monster High came out with an open mouth smile, I'd be into it, but generally I'm not. Um, and specifically for Barbie, I'm not. But I do like this sculpt, and I thought that I wouldn't. I like her little dimple. That's pretty adorable. Um, her face is not, I feel like her face is not as triangular as Renee's. I don't know, I'm like trying to see. I don't know, maybe they're the same. I don't know. They're for sure similar, but I think maybe she has rounder cheeks and that's why I like her a little bit more and the dimples are adorable. So yeah, I actually like her sculpt. Maybe it's the painting, I don't really know, but I like her. Um, I like her outfit, I really do. I do not like her necklace, I just feel like it doesn't really add anything. Um, I like her little ears, I like the bows, these are super cute. I love this bow, I love she has like, what are these called, I don't even know leather pants? I don't know. Um, but I like them. I like that they're frilly. Her shoes, they're like sandals. But they're like, I don't know what this material is. It looks kind of furry from here. Which, if they're like furry kind of sandals, that's a choice. But, um, I like them. I do like them with this outfit. Um, like they're, they don't really stand out, but I think that's fine because this outfit is kind of loud. I love her. Um, her hair is also kind of scraggly like the rest of them, which I guess at this point is just uh, to be expected, I'm assuming. Why is this? I don't know. Her hair is really weird. Like, what is this chunk? She has like a dread and it's like cut off, but then the rest of them are kind of scraggly. Yeah. I don't know. Um, not really into the hair, <laughs> uh, but that's kind of a critique that I guess I'm going to have with all of them. They all have like great movement of their heads and seemingly of their joints as well. This is Teresa's stuff. I guess these are fluffy, which confirms that her shoes, I guess, are also fluffy. So they're like fluffy sandals, which I don't know. I might be into that if they were like a color, like maybe like pink or something, but they're like brown. Um, so I don't know how I feel about these, but she's got sunglasses. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I, I don't know about this. Um, she has a keyboard, so she's like a gamer, I guess. Gamer girl. Um, so she's a keyboard. Does she have a computer? No, but she has a keyboard, so that's great. She's missing one of the more important parts, the computer, but she's, homegirl's got a keyboard, all right? Um, and then we have a stuffed bear. I don't know, it's kind of cute. This is her bag, um, which I don't think functions. I can't get it to open or anything, uh, which kind of sucks because the other two, their bags function. Also, I think Brooklyn's bag functions. So this is just, I don't know, this is, it's whatever. This is her phone. Her phone says, game over. <laughs> we love a game girl. Um, she's got like her little teddy bear. That fits. Maybe Barbie's doesn't because hers is like more of a um, like harder material, maybe. This is uh, Barbie or Brooklyn. Um, I like her. She's actually one of my favorites. Her and Malibu are my favorite. Um, I do think that they have different sculpts because I wasn't sure if they have the same sculpt because they are both like smiling, but I think her face is a little bit chubbier. Um, then Malibu's, like Malibu has like a pointier chin and the nose is a little bit different and maybe the mouth, but I'm not sure. Like it's definitely a similar sculpt, but slightly different. Um, she's really pretty, honestly. She's really pretty. I like her outfit. I don't think I like her outfit the best, but I do like it. Um, this, I don't know what this fabric is, but I hate it. Like it just feels not great. I feel like whatever this material is, I'm not feeling it. I don't know what it is, but it just feels, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it feels awful. Like sheep or something? I'm not digging it, but I do dig her outfit. Her hair, tinsel hair, don't like tinsel hair. It's 
tinsel hair is a choice, um, and I don't think it's a great one, but um, I mean, I like the colors they selected, I guess, of tinsel hair. Um, I love her chunky earrings. Her hairstyle is interesting. It's like pigtails, but sideways, I guess. They're <laughs> like, she got diagonal pigtails. Um, she's got baby hair, super cute, like the blue eyeshadow. Um, yeah. I dig her. Um, her shoes are pretty basic. She also has like these plasticky sock things, which I don't know how I feel about those. I feel like I have a lot. Oh, I guess they're part of the shoes. Okay. I don't know. They're alright. I do like her. I was expecting to like her. I specifically like the makeup on her mouth. I feel like the ombre look. Pretty cute. Oh, her hair also, like everybody else's, is pretty uh, scraggly at the bottom. I just... Lots of hair falling out, um, but it's soft. It's not really gelled up anywhere, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's like falling out a ton. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a piece of hair in my hand. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't like the hair. Then we have Brooklyn or Barbie stuff. Um, she, her interests are like dancing and video editing, I think, but she has a boom box. I think it's and focus there, um, which looks like that on the other side, which isn't great, but you know, is what it is, whatever. Um, and then she also has a phone case that says Barbie. I really like her phone case. Um, that's stinking cute. I like all the phone cases, honestly, but except from other Barbies because hers doesn't work, but it's a really cute idea. Um, is this one? Yes. I mean, this one almost kind of actually doesn't work. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so hers, like, hers is popping out too. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, this one doesn't really fit either. <laughs> Why do the Barbie girls, <laughs> those don't work? Okay, yeah, see, it pops out. Why? Well, whatever, I guess. Um, and then she has a ring light because she is a video editing girly. She does them dances. I guess she like, maybe she does like TikTok dances. Is that a thing anymore? I have no idea, truly. Um, I wonder if her phone fits in here. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's very cool. It does fit. If this lit up, I would be like, ah, but let's be real. These are $20 dolls. It's not gonna light up. Um, that would be like super impressive. They're already impressive as they are. Um, and then here is her Barbie bag. Um, yeah, just, you know, it's pretty simple. It says Barbie. It's functional, which is great, so you can throw things in it. All right, so you might be able to notice that my lighting's a little different. That's because I forgot to film these two things that Brooklyn has. Um, this is, I, I think, like an iPad with DJ stuff on it, I think. Some sort of DJ thing. Um, I mean, it's cool for whatever it is, or if it is what I think it is. Um, and then she has a little dog, which I think is actually very adorable. Um, don't really typically care about these little pet things, but this one's pretty cute. The bodies, I think they basically, like have basically the same body, except for Renee is a teeny, 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 itty bitty bitty bit taller. Um, she has like longer legs. I'm trying to look at Teresa and be like, does she have thicker thighs? But I don't, I don't think so. But generally, they all have the same body. Um, I like the body. It is, I don't know, it's pretty basic, but it's very articulated. I have different underwear on. I know that's like a weird thing to say. <laughs> okay, so these two, um, Malibu and Renee have the same underwear and then, um, Brooklyn and Teresa have the same underwear. They're like slightly different. Malibu and Renee have like just plain underwear, whereas Brooklyn and Teresa, it says Barbie. I like the body. I dig it. I think it's cool to, because you guys probably know if you've been around this channel. Um, I'm a doll customizer, so this is like, I feel like a whole new like sculpt to play around with. Um, I definitely, like I like all of these ladies. I love Malibu though, like I don't know. Something about her face sculpt, it's definitely different than Brooklyn's. Um, I just really like Malibu's face sculpt. The other three are also cute, um, but I really like Malibu. So overall, I think these dolls are great. They're especially great for the price um, because they are like $20 instead of 30 or 25 or whatever doll lines are nowadays. Um, yeah, I just feel like I haven't bought a like fully articulated doll that had so much stuff in a long time that was $20. Um, I really 
like their sculpts, their bodies are nice. Um, they have full articulation, which is awesome. And I really want to customize one. Um, and I just love them in general. And I'm excited to see like what other looks they come out with for future dolls. If you guys pick these up, let me know what you think about them. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe makes me happy. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye!